I swear, our trips go so much smoother than this. Hey, come with us. We're going to Denver. So we decided not to do the Michelin star restaurants. We did a uh, bib gourmand, which is because we the pole. And but allegedly, I've never had a bib gourmand rated Michelin restaurant. However, it's supposed to be like the next best thing. So it's like the step under the, the Michelin one star. So we'll see how that all works out. Yeah, you may wonder what we're doing walking through the parking lot aimlessly. Wow, this genius decided to get on the wrong bus, going to the wrong car rental place. So it turns out that each individual car rental place has its own individual bus from the terminal, which I knew, but I got on the wrong bus because I thought my reservation was through budget. It was actually through Enterprise. This one's happy. That's her pouty face because she's hungry. Uh, I swear our trips go so much smoother than this. Usually, anyway. All right. <laughs> Our noses are ready, we're sweating profusely. <laughs> and my thumb right now. <laughs> we are at Glow Noodle Bar and we are so excited. There's so many good choices. Glow? Glow. This place is uh, more Japanese, I would say, than anything. This is one of the uh, Bib Gourmand restaurants that we were alerted to. Bib Gourmand. Bib Gourmand. I haven't been able to say that Glow right yet. Glow Noodle House. Glow Noodle. In Denver. Oh, I can't do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, spashy. Ooh, spashy. Mm, good flavor though. Is all of this worth 60 something dollars? I'd say probably not. Interesting on the um oh, the chicken, the chicken, feet. The chicken skin. Exactly. You want to clap me now? Oh, yeah. mm. It's really good. You know, this is making me think that the Michelin Guide should come to my house. <laughs> yes, one hundred percent. Is yep. that really good? Nope. Oh crap! I can't even. It's, it's good, but it's not that good. Oh, shoot, I can't get out of this. I'm just not. I gotta use the fork. I know. I'm sorry, Japan. Get the whole bite in there. Get it. <laughs> and we're back. <sighs> that was <clears throat> go on. Service was so great. They were so nice. I felt like I knew Benji, like he was my little brother. I don't what know what he, his name was. What else you got? But um, th it was not. It's always a disappointment Come since Tay's- what? what? Ding? Dinging? Do you hear that dinging? Oh. Okay. What else you got? I just didn't think that that was worth the amount of money that we spent. <clears throat> it was not worth it, but <laughs> they were so nice. It just, once you've had really good ramen and, and other Asian food, you have a standard and it just didn't meet that standard and again the price it was the bibbity bop uh michelin i just wouldn't i wouldn't go back so we showed you we got all the things on our receipt 51 dollars and 83 cents for those those items so here's my problem when you start Putting these restaurants on this list, the Michelin star list, and Bib Gourmand, yes, it is a lower quali quality, whatever. It they just it just becomes a level of pretension, maybe. 
that doesn't justify the cost because the food isn't as good. We also read the reviews, yeah. and it's interesting because a few people did say that once they got the Bibbidi Got Bop Gargamon, that it Big Gourmand. Big Gourmand. This place? Yeah. That what it, was that review? It, it, did you get the review? Yeah, but it literally read the just said, real quick. oh my gosh. Uh, respectfully. <clears throat> Respectfully, this restaurant has got to be paying for reviews. Everything that we had was simply unappetizing. And then it says that once they got the Michelin Award... Wait, the previous owners received the Michelin Award, not these guys. Ah, there's the key. That's it. We were duped. We were duped. Don't believe the Michelin Guide. Yeah. Case number one, restaurant number one, <laughs> fail. Let's let's hit him with the next one. Hit him with the next one. We're going to Ginger Pig. First, we're going to Red Rocks or Red Rock. Red Rock. Red Rocks. First, Red we're Rocks. Going to Red Rocks. We're gonna run off some of these giblets. Red Rocks Amphitheater. Here we come. Red Rocks Amphitheater. Oh, you scared me. So, this is Red Rock. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. <laughs> It is absolutely stunning here. My cameraman's walking backwards. I'm so impressed. So make sure you bring your water, bring your good times. Just let them roll. We just met a raccoon. You know that he'll probably bite you and give you rabies. Hi, Pinterest. All right, we'll see a highlight of my trip. There's a rock behind you. <laughs> oh, God. We are so fortunate to live this life and I hit the jackpot and I'm living my dream as a trophy wife. Oh, you're confused. You're confused. Well, the following day that we get there, we are so tired and so we found that working out helps us regulate our system, helps us sleep a lot better. So if you can, uh, try to find a way to work out and we found it at Red Rocks. Okay, good workout. All right, you did good. We're red rocks. Oh. Hey, fella. What? Oh, you get up. Did he kiss your foot? Yeah, just a gentle kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I got some kind of allergic reaction. Maybe from the last place, from the Poo Poo Gibbard Award. This is what we got. Anne's climbing a tree. Very strong of uh, soy and vinegar. Oh. Glass noodle. This is a this is a famous Chinese pork and um, glass noodle dish. It's like a big bite. Yeah. What's up with your playa? Mm. Spicy? It's got Szechuan pepper. Oh, I love Szechuan peppers. Ooh yeah. That's nice. That's literally like a churro wrapped in butter, wrapped in like almost like cornflakes and it was open any. It's so and it's so soft in the middle, it's insane. It's like oozing. Oh my god. <laughs> we just had the ginger pig. Number two. Those, those, those. It was good. It was good. Um, if you go there, you have to get their, what was it? The French toast. It was Hong Kong French Hong toast. Hong Kong French toast. I could take or leave the other stuff, but that Hong Kong French toast is money. We had ants climbing on a tree. And then we also had their fried chicken 
Chinese fried chicken or something with chili and garlic. Food inspections are needed. This is a health hazard. I felt okay leaving, and then a couple hours later, my stomach started cramping, and I've had diarrhea ever since. Yeah, we'll keep you updated and see if that happens. We'll let you know. We had diarrhea since Easter. Do you not realize I have had diarrhea since Easter? What the food food regulation laws are, but they were vaping in the kitchen, so I don't know if that's... But they were really cool, and I liked them. <sighs> I'll never... Good night, America. We'll see you tomorrow. We are at Ashkara. We didn't know that you have to come at five o'clock if you want the full menu. If you come at four though, they have appetizers, a ton, which I would actually order anyways. So, and the prices are really good. So we're excited to see what they have. Okay, how did we, how did we find this place? It's on the Good Bogam, uh, Michelin, Big Bogams. Oh, we got it. <laughs> and we're back. No, ask Cara. So we saw that restaurant on the Michelin Guide for Bib Gourmand, which is, you know, the distinction that they call it. Definitely lived up to the hype. Super good. However, the only food that was available was the happy hour food. Very so from that. three to five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good food. Good awesome. Food. Yeah. Highly recommend. The service was so good. Just so you know, they do a 20% surcharge, service charge. So they circle it. They let you know. So, um... It is always a little shocking when you see the, you got all the juicies on your face. Anyways, it was, and in your teeth. <laughs> it was way too much food. Oh, way too much food. Pro tip. But um, you could have ordered two or three things and gotten away with it. That doesn't make any sense. But, Anyways, but for science, we ordered everything, everything. Just so you could see everything on the happy hour. Just menu. get the falafel, that one white dip with the... Carrot. Uh, uh, what was it? The carrot dip. Oh, that was carrot? There was carrot on top. Oh, and apricot? Something. That was so good. And then, yeah, I get the breads. And, and the you're breads. And the breads. Shaka Yeah! On to ice cream. I'm just getting croissant. Yeah, we're gonna get some croissant now. Yes. We're in the reserve room because Tater asks questions. That's how I get things. I say, can you help me sit up? Um, I'm looking for a place to sit by tidal line. <laughs> and Kyle's like, no, you will not, I will not ask for directions. Excuse me, sir, I will ask for directions. Oh, you need a place? Come follow me. And they took us into the reserve room. They thought we were like big YouTube stars. Yeah, they did. Like, here, follow us. And yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I love it. Uh, but we got here, and well, I cannot overstate this enough. It was a madhouse. Mad it was house. a madhouse. Thank you. Oh, God. Getting uh, from our gate basically to the lounge was insane. Tay, Tay was like so panicked. Anxiety. I didn't. I was like, I can't go. I can't go. But we got once we got up here, the lounge said it was full on the app. Um, but we were able to find a spot. We did find a spot in the uh, children's section, which is, I think, a pro tip. Yeah. The kids' room. Oh yeah, kids' room always. <laughs> Love it. What is the best kept secret? Best kept secret. You find the kids' room, and there's no kids at first. We always sit in here because it's the only place you can find because it is a packed house. There is no. Yes, go to the children's section. But then yeah. when the children get there, then you kind of. Oh I'm feeling seasick every time that you leave. 